We have a special guest today, Aaron with Naturodyne. Aaron, real quick. Yes, sir. Boy, I tell you, I, I love technology. I mean, absolutely crazy about technology. And I love the product that you guys bring to the table today. Hey, introduce yourself and a little bit about what Naturodyne does. Sure. So uh, my name is Aaron Osborne. I'm the uh, regional sales manager for Naturodyne. I cover Texas and all the surrounding states. Uh, Naturodyne, we are uh, the first and top of the line AI uh, camera solution. Wouldn't expect you to say anything else. Well, I'm a little proud. I'm not going to lie. There, there's a reason why I made the decision to work with the company I came to. Yes, so. sir. Absolutely. All right. And 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 some of that technology you have, it, it's it's primarily. Is it only for the big trucks? No, it's actually for everybody. I've got companies from you know a 40 unit roofing company all the way up to a uh, company I can't really give you the name of, but it it also shares a name with the uh, largest river in South America. Um, mm. You can figure that out from there. <laughs> but uh, it's, it's a little bit of everything. So, so what we do is, the way our system works is we use AI to monitor and score an entire drive. From the time your guy fires up his truck to the time he powers it down, we're monitoring and scoring everything they do. All right, scoring. So that means that you're, you're grading the driver. You're, you have software that's going to tell Drive Safe Dave, here's an next driver here. Absolutely. We're going to tell you what you did right and what you did wrong. But see, now you touched on the most important part. Not only did we catch everything that you did wrong, we're the only company, and we, we, we got a patent pending on it, only company out there that's going to tell you what you're doing right. Nice. So we actually boost your score up for doing the right thing. So when you do things like move over because there's a car on the side of the road, or when a car cuts you off instead of riding on their bumper, you increase your following distance, things like that, we actually boost your score up. And so it's a zero to a thousand score, and I've got... Uh, drivers that are well over a thousand because they're just that good. Wow, that would be me. Yep. Number one, number one, 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 that would be yep. me. Well over a thousand. Well, well over, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> but no, that's very interesting. And what you're talking about here, and, and the way I'm gathering the information, and 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 had some experience with you and looking at your product and stuff like that. Sure. What's the most fascinating? What Rick's talking about the the technology is this artificial intelligence. Tell us a little bit about that. Sure. So what we actually do, like I said, is it's the system is designed to constantly be growing and constantly learning and constantly improving. So as we're driving around, as as you, the driver, are out and about, our system is monitoring everything that's going on there. So we're going to monitor. We never sleep. Right. So we're going to monitor for things like following distance. We're going to monitor for stop signs. We're going to monitor for speed limit signs. So we maintain understanding of everything that's going on and our system is always watching and then when there is the eventual crash because we're not asleep we're always on we can always record we can always monitor yeah that's very interesting and I, i'll tell you um as we as we look at some of the videos oh, here perfect. why don't you why don't you uh, kind of walk us through here what some of the stuff that's going on in these videos absolutely so what you're seeing is first of all everything we record is at 1080p 30 frames per second and that's really important because it's like watching a movie when you're in here. So what you can see is you can actually see my system looking around saying, hey, what color is that stop sign? Oh, wow. What color is that stoplight? Oh, look, somebody ran the stoplight. Uh, I think the video before that, you notice they stopped. Uh, if you pay attention to who, why they stopped, uh, you'll see that uh, hey, there's a police officer. Let me ask a question officer. on that right there. So yes, I see that the light turned red or turned yellow. We ran the light. Right. Well, today I have that same technology. When my driver hits a hard brake, stops, Right. I can see that we ran a red light or that we stopped. What's right. different with yours? The difference is, did you see that uh, second video that we showed? I did. They didn't hit the brakes? You had no idea that they ran that stoplight. Uh -huh. And here's what happens. The, the older systems, the initial camera systems, were trigger-based, inertial-based, uh -huh. right? They slam on the brakes, you get a snapshot. And so you, as a safety manager, look at it and go, y you slammed on the brakes on this one, you got a negative. My system's monitoring everything. Wow. So when you slam on the brakes, why did you slam on the brakes? Let's have that, and, and we have that causation built in there. But when you don't slam on the brakes, because what happens is I, as a driver, know every time I slam on the brakes, my safety manager is going to be on my hind part. So I'm not going to. So just to. run that red light. I, I've always, I've often, I'll be honest with you, I've often wondered, okay, if you find yourself in a bad situation, don't put your foot on the brakes because you're going to get caught. If you just go through it, Absolutely. you don't get caught. And you're saying... You can you you stop that right? You're, you're going to catch it. What about I got another one here, Drive Safe? We hear a lot on the show is 
hey, that's not the speed limit. Oh, that's it. It's that's ran in the GPS. Absolutely. So that's what can thing. you do about that? So GPS is usually wrong about 30% of the time. And anybody who drives in Texas knows that that's really lowballing it. Um, our system actually monitors for speed limit signs, and it adjusts accordingly. What do you mean? Help me out. So you can see, and, and coming up here, following the, uh, the, the red, run, light. red light, you're going to see the system actually grabs a, uh, uh, the speed limit and adjusts accordingly. It says, oh, speed uh, limit yeah, is 35. Right here we go. So it's looking at the signs. It knows it's, it's looking at the signs. I can look at stop signs, and I can tell you if you've ran a stop sign. Mm -hmm. I can look at speed limit. I can tell you what color light it was that you went through wow. every what, single time. And I like I like some of that because there are times like in construction zones when speed limits are changed, absolutely varied, and even though they're not what the uh, GPS would mark it as, or or like we say when they're wrong, they, they alter, they change. They're on the fly, right. and this unit is absolutely grabbing those on the fly. Changes in the speed, yes, changing sir. because it's doing what you're doing, reading the sign, right? Absolutely. And it does it, it doesn't fall asleep, it, 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 it doesn't miss anything because of the way the technology is built. It's always there, it's always on, and you're always going to get notified. The other thing that our system is going to do is it's going to give you a chance to get right. So let's say you're driving in a, a, a 55 and it goes down to 45 and the speed limit, it's gonna notify you and give you a chance before it affects your score, it's gonna give you a chance wow. to, to get a, corrected on it. So as a driver, you like to know that somebody's out there keeping an eye on things, helping you to be a safer driver, helping you to be... So it's not only tattletaling on you, it's no. actually helping you. Absolutely. So when you say it tells you, is it a beep? Is it, it a... It's usually a beep or a different sounds that'll tell you where you're at and all that. So, and, and you have the ability to configure that a little bit as to, to how, what sounds and where and whatnot. I think we, we've also talked, and we're, we're, we're very curious. I mean, this is fascinating technology and how advanced it is. Is there, any, is there any input or anything going on into the future about looking at, like, a person out there or giving direction or anything like that? I know that right now it's very limited, but, but we all have talked about it and asked about it. I'm just curious how, what's that input? You know, like if a police officer says, hey, go this way. Is there any, or is it just recording the event? It's, at this point, it's just going to record the event. Right, I got you. So it's, it's going to kind of keep, keep an eye on things. But you mentioned police officers. That's a really important thing, especially when, when you are in a crash. So police officer comes out, DOT comes out to inspect a crash. Correct. Our system allows you, depending on uh, connectivity and all, to, to share that video with your police officer nice. within a few moments. So, so while he's on the scene, that officer can write up the report properly. Because if you've ever tried to actually get something changed, it's dang near impossible out there. So DOT actually loves our solution because they know exactly what's going on when they're writing the report. They, they want to get it done right and move on to the next one. And then they watch the movie, and there you go. Absolutely. Wow, hey, that's... Aaron, one thing that BCB Live is, and again, we are the safest station in the nation. It's Absolutely. about safety. Yeah. Um, what does this do? And I know that you, you, you talk, it's seeing the science and all that, but how is this really giving a driver to the ability to improve their skill at driving? Absolutely. So with our solution, you actually have, a, each driver will have access to an app where once a week, first of all, they'll always know what their score is. And it, it kind of becomes fun because they can figure out where they rank in the company. So, hey, I'm number three in, you know, out gotcha. of 500 trucks. That makes me feel good. Conversely, I'm number 499 out of 500 is a different conversation. Yeah. But, you know, as, as you can see, we also give them a scorecard. Wow. And so we give them the ability. This is a, a sample from uh, uh, an actual driver for the month of uh, July. Okay. And you can see we analyzed 14,851 minutes. How, this is how many alerts. Hey, 60% of the time you're doing everything perfect. But not only does it tell you what you did, it says, hey, these were the three biggest issues that you had. If you were to fix these issues, look at what happens to your driver score. So what a lot of companies will do is they will tie bonuses to those driver scores. Gotcha. And so now you look at it and you go, okay, my score was uh, an 831. Maybe if I get to, to 900, I get an extra $500. And I, and I like that because on that scorecard, it had something so simple as uh, average following distance. And this is what your score would be if you did it. I, that was very interesting. I was looking at that and, Absolutely. and it went from 830 to 880. Mm -hmm. Out of a thousand, if you just increased your following distance uh, a, a little bit of the time, and it said because it's measuring that all the time, right? And, and if you're going to say, "Hey, I want to quickly improve my score," I'll just start adding more following distance 
and it, and it's going to know that and see that change and then affect it positively. Absolutely. And, and at the end of the day, the goal of every professional driver is to improve and to constantly be improving and getting better. And having these sorts of tools out there where you can actually say, this is what I need to do to get better. And you know what happens is one week, it's uh, following distance. The next week, maybe you had a bad week and, and you were speeding a little more than you should have. Maybe you ran a few stop signs. But what you'll, most of your drivers will find is there's a trend. I have a trend. There, there's an issue that I constantly have, and I've got a blind spot to it, right? Following distance is a big one for most people. Oh, yes. For we most talk drivers. talk about it all the time here, that speed and space. It's Absolutely. a big deal, you know, when you're driving down the highway. Hey, so the driver sees their report card, but yep. do they also have, do they review the videos as well, their own videos? Absolutely. So every week, like I said, getting back to that, every week they've got a few videos. First of all, here are some things that you did well. Okay, oh, Here's like some that. driver starts. Good job on this. Hey, you created separation here instead of uh, uh, staying close and, and uh, increasing risk. Thank you for that. Here's a couple things that we'd like to see you improve on. And it's not... A thousand. Usually these are about five minutes worth of uh, coaching that happens okay. each time. And what happens is this. You now on your own as a professional driver have an opportunity to improve how you drive. It is completely free of any bias. Not that any safety managers ever have bias. But it's completely <laughs> free of any of that shenanigans, right? Oh, yes. And it's, I it's, like it. It is individualized and, and pertinent to you as a driver. Wow. You know exactly what you need to do to get and, back. And, and during this, uh, and you, you had a lot of say, what kind of driver feedback are you getting do you, do you, that, that I would really like to hear what kind of driver feedback Hey, before getting? you answer that, hey, producer, if we can, we got time for two questions. Go ahead and get them queued up, but go ahead and answer that question while the producer looks around. Absolutely. So driver feedback, not going to lie. Most drivers at first are apprehensive about an idea of a camera being put in there. No it is. About it absolutely you is. can't tell me what I'm doing, right? Absolutely. Brother. I've been doing this for 30 years. I know it, it absolutely. I'll, I'll tell you this. Um, yesterday I had a conversation with a retired driver. He actually was uh, um, captain of America's road team, five and a half million wow. drive safe miles. Wow. He told me he wished he had the solution in his truck. He said, especially the last five years with where everything is going, yes. he wished he had that solution in the truck. Most drivers are this. I, a little bit apprehensive at first is, uh, is uh, the company out trying to, to get a hold of me, trying to, trying to catch me doing something wrong. And then when they actually get into it and see how it makes them a better driver, makes them safer, helps them come home uh, to their families, and improves how well they drive, they get on board. Yeah, you know, we, we, we talk about uh, using technology to the benefit of safety, right? Yep. Making us a safer driver. Um, what we have got to do and what the people that use your technology have got to do is, is use this to, to uh, not to spank somebody or to no. beat them up, to, to let them look and train to teach them to be a better, safer driver. There is a difference, right? When I saw the videos there, you guys, your technology can pick up the difference in running a stop sign or slow rolling through a stop sign as Absolutely. well, right? Yes, sir. That's just amazing to me how it, five miles an hour? Five miles or yeah, less, okay. it's a roll through, and anything over that, you ran the light. So it's just, that's There's absolutely amazing. Sign. We got a couple of questions here from oh. listeners. Yeah, we got, a, we got a couple that were typed out here. So Brian Winsauer is wondering, um, once we convert over to these mirrorless trucks that have cameras on the side to read what's on their side, would this be able to connect to that? And if so, how would that impact the safety of the truck? Absolutely, we have the ability to connect with that. In fact, we've got some people who have put a monitor inside the cab so that they can see down both sides of their truck and it helps them with, with especially with uh, right-hand turns, making sure that there's nobody out there. Yeah, so we do, yeah, there is that ability already. Hey, great question, Mr. Winsauer. There is the ability right now to to look down the side of that of that trailer right now. And I'm gonna kind of piggyback off that. What about backing up? I mean, mm -hmm. one thing that we see in, in, with us getting backed into in this industry or us backing into people at, at, in the industry is we don't have cameras in the back. You do not. Is there anything you see on that? Or is that just, is that just with everybody dropping and hooking, is that just too hard to do? With drop and hook, it becomes a bit of a challenge, right? Because they, they do have uh, wireless, with that far away, they're not great. Gotcha. So that's the technology that needs to improve. Um, you know, not to piggyback off what you say, but I, I do watch a show when I can. Get out and look is still the very best thing you could possibly Thank do. Thank you. Absolutely. That is the best technology Coming you have right here now from is to get your butt out of the truck and look. Get right, out and right, look. Absolutely. The best technology we have. Who else we got, producer? 
Yeah, uh, Tommy Jones was asking, um, would this technology be able to like increase efficiency? Is there anything that that can lean into there? Huh. So the efficiencies would be, I'm trying to think what that would, uh, what that would be on, when you're driving the truck. I don't think it's going to give us any metrics on the miles per gallon, nothing like that. Our, 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 you know, the truck technology has that already. I truly believe the, the efficiencies here are the less time being pulled over and filling out tra- accident reports. <laughs> less time downtime. Less time getting your truck in the shop being repaired. Absolutely. Less time meeting the people you don't want to meet. You know right. what? I'm going to go out and bet this. So bet. I'm, I'm going to assume this. The higher your score is, right, the higher your, your ranking is, I bet you that it's also telling a story about your productivity, about your fuel economy, about your on time, about safety, a lot of that. So I think there's a lot of... They do tie in together. Yeah, I bet you they do definitely tie in together on that. Man, there is... I love that software. I love these videos right here. Appreciate it. I like it for one reason. Is that because it does make this industry just a little bit safer? That's the goal, right? Look, cameras are coming. That's just the way it works. Uh, uh, I'm a big proponent of... First and foremost, get something in the mm-hmm. truck, uh, get something to protect you, protect the drivers, make sure that everybody has what they need. Then second step is let's discuss who's got the best mousetrap. This is coming. Yes. It, it's going to become the standard. It's the same way as, as ELDs were you know, 15 years ago. Yeah. Everybody was uh, a little bit concerned. This is the standard. S- the, the, the statistics are this. Seven out of 10 accidents are not the driver's fault, right? Now, if that's really the case, then why on earth would you not put a camera to protect you? Because you and I both know when you end up, God forbid, going to court against the hammer. Yeah. The, sorry. We, we talk about I, the hammer here all the time. A, well, <laughs> well, that's just it. Driving in this morning, there were 10 bill, billboards out there yes. for, for these attorneys. They do it for a reason. Yes. Because at the end of the day, you are the professional driver. And if there is a crash and if there's any uh, uh, ambiguity, you're going to be the one that's yeah. found at fault, and it's going to end up falling down on the company. Cameras help you out. They allow you Absolutely. the ability to look around and see what's going on. It allows us that ability to, to make a decision quick when there is an accident. It either is or isn't your fault. Hey, thank Amen. you so much for this. My Great pleasure. job, man. Thank you for having love me. Love the software. Love the technology. I love safety. Love it, love it, love it. Hey, this is BCB Live, the safest station in the nation.